Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports dropped us this loading screen yesterday on FIFA 23, showing us the Foot Centurion's car design and of course telling us what we kind of already knew, that this promo is coming out tomorrow on Friday. But other than that and a couple of tweets, we don't know that much. So I'm going to talk about the promo just for a little bit today and also how I think it might impact the market because still, there is a lot of demand for players in this game. Prices stay high. The market was very good to trade in and out of yesterday. And there is a lot going on with fodder, with meta uh, card prices, some price range updates that happened yesterday. And of course, we have to talk about some big changes to the team of the week. EA is getting bigger and better upgrades for these brand new team of the week cards starting from this team of the week and onwards. And we get those cards in red picks, remember, because those same red picks are back in the Team of the Week rewards, in Foot Champs rewards. And there's one more massive Icon SBC leak that everybody is talking about on the Jarzinho level and maybe even a bit more hype for some people. So we're talking about a lot today. If you're excited for this new promo and kind of the mystery that it is right now, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that promo, the loading screen. And again, we've shown these tweets and we've talked about it, so I'm just going to talk about it quickly again. This Foot Centurions promo is all about, or at least what it sounds like, players that are maybe a little past their prime but have had legendary careers form is temporary class is permanent foot centurions the other of course information we have is that the centurion like that word 100 plus like century the centurion all of these promo cards are going to be based around something that's 100 plus 100 plus caps goals assists clean sheets maybe points like some people think about manchester city and their 100 plus point season winning the premier league could a player from Manchester City be in the promo for that? That sort of stuff is what's going to be a part of this promo. The car design, I think, looks pretty sick. We saw on the loading screen, it's different, but I think it looks pretty sick, right? This is insane. Like, this is the type of stuff that we could see in this promo. Guys like Zlatan, guys like Marco Royce, guys like Pogba, De Gea. There's a lot of names that have been thrown in and around. Aspilicueta, cards like that. Cards that maybe, or players that are maybe a slight bit behind their prime or where they're peak of their career was at, but they're still kind of legends, right? That quote, form is temporary, class is permanent. Now, we have no leaks. These are not official players that are leaked yet. Maybe they will be a part of this promo. I think everybody wants a Zlatan or like a James Milner or, you know, a De Gea or a Roy so bad that like if EA doesn't do it, this promo is going to be a big letdown. But these are names that we really could see inside of this promo. On Footbin, they have a prediction up here. Uh, Neymar, Neuer, Ibrahimovic, Royce, Alexis Sanchez, John Stones, Pepe, Vertonghen, Xhaka, Cesc Fabregas, and Vardy, right? These are all the types of players that we could see. Not saying that like Neymar is past his prime. That's not what I'm trying to say by talking about these, these promo cards, but EA is probably going to find a way to fit in some really top tier players into this promo side. It just seems like this is going to be a fun promo. It really does. And that's why I'm excited for it. And again, I think there is a very high potential that we start to get leaks about this promo and the players that are going to be in it. Today, I know we've been saying it over the past couple of days, like, where are our leaks at? Uh, but, like, one day before the promo starts, I mean, today we have the current loading screen that just shows the car design. I would expect today, the normal schedule is, they will update the loading screen, and we'll be looking at this on the content drop today on stream. But they'll probably update the loading screen today with players and try to tease us with those stats. So if we don't have any leaks after today and we're sitting here tomorrow talking about having no leaks, then it's going to feel like a true surprise, honestly, which we haven't had in a long time. And I'm surprised that we don't have leaks yet, but I do believe those will start to roll out soon. And I think that's going to start to build the hype. So that's going to be the biggest question for the market as well. Are these leaks going to get people scared? We're going to talk about that and we'll kind of talk through it, of course, here in a second. But first things first. Let's talk about more things that are dropping today on Thursday, right? We talked about that loading screen. That's almost a given, right? They've already dropped the first one. They're probably going to drop a second loading screen as well. Don't forget that marquee matchups is, is expiring today. And the Villarreal and Valencia matchup in here gives you a swap token. I have to do this SBC. But speaking of the swap tokens, right? This is a big day and I'm going to spend time talking about this because... Today might be the last day, it probably is the last day, that we are going to get a winter wildcard swap token in an SPC or an objective. Like, this is the last day that we're probably going to get a token, right? Currently, we are on 20 
25 tokens, and that includes everything. 25 tokens, including the one that was in the store pack a couple weeks back or a week and a half ago, I guess it was. We're on 25. Now, there's been 30 that have been in the code. I don't believe that we are getting 30. EA said that they are going to drop 25, and then any bonus would be available in the store, right? Find some bonus tokens in the store during the campaign. They have said that the uh, SBC challenges, like the rewards, right? Uh, the rewards will be available until January 13th. And they have also said inside of the game, right here on this screen, that the tokens will be now in the available now until the program ends on January 6th. And that is, of course, tomorrow when this Foot Centurions promo will begin. So is there maybe a slight chance that we could get a couple more tokens? I think there is. I believe that I would only expect one token today um, via marquee matchups. They've only been dropping one token a day for the past couple of days. Is there potential that we get two? There is. They could drop a second SBC maybe if they were to do that. There could also maybe be one more store token uh, maybe this weekend, but it sounds like the way the EA have worded it, Today could be our very last token. So if you're trying to figure out what you want to do and what you want to turn it in and maybe what packs or rewards you want to choose, it looks like we might only get 26 tokens instead of the 30 that were added into concepts. But again, EA only promised us 25 plus that one they added into the store with that 75k pack. It looks like that might be the final thing. So I've got to get caught up and finish off my last few tokens, like doing the marquee matchups. Yesterday, our token was inside of Silver Stars, uh, which is kind of the normal Wednesday token. It's in here. If you click the square button, you can see it is inside the reward of completing the entire Silver Stars objective with that very pacey Silver Striker uh, from Syria. So that's where yesterday's token was. One more token today, and that might be it. For all of you guys that have been asking and questioning, those are still there. Now, the rewards, like we said, are still available for another week after this so if you haven't completely decided and it's so nice not to have to sort through all of the world cup swaps because those are finally gone uh, those were there for forever but these are going to be here for another week so you'll have opportunities if you have the tokens and you want to think about it if you want to see centurions team one or maybe even the leagues for team two and decide do i want to open my fodder packs yet do i want to wait stuff like that you've got options and you've got time to choose between those things so definitely Keep an eye out uh, for that last token today. Probably going to be in marquee matchups. And there's a slight potential we could get more, but I really feel like it's just going to be one. We will have to see. Now, other things that we could see today. I mean, we've been getting a Winter Wild Cards player SBC every single day. We had the Han SBC yesterday. What is going to be dropping on the game? We don't have a leaked player SBC right now for the last day of Winter Wild Cards. Are they gonna leave us without one today or are they gonna drop like a really big name on the last day? Uh, it might be, I think last Thursday this was the case when they dropped the Maxime Hullet, um, which I did at SBC, so it's in my club. But if you guys remember that Hullet SBC, I think that might've been last Thursday. I forget the exact day, but it might be that sort of thing where Foot Sheriff leaks the SBC for today early. But if we don't see a leak, then we might not have one. So just be careful, but potentially one more wildcard SBC today. So the last swap token inside of marquee matchups. Now, again, I do believe it'll be there. We'll probably get some pack supply today from marquee matchups. And we'll talk about that here in a second. The only other thing that we could maybe see today, there was a massive, massive leak. I, I don't think it's today. I honestly don't. But I got to shout it out because Thursdays have been Icon SBC days in the past. The middle version of Zidane has been leaked to come as an SBC during the Centurions promo. Now, we had the Gerard SBC yesterday and that SBC is actually impacting the market we'll talk about that in a second but this is a massive one right this is like I said on the level of Jarzinho in terms of hype in terms of the big name of an icon I know it's mid Jarzinho it's not the prime but I think this is a there's a lot a lot of hype around this card and there's so many people that will want to craft this Zidane in the coming days whenever this is released now FIFA Romania tweets here that it'll be coming during the Centurions promo. So it might not be today. Of course, according to him, it, it won't be today. But we have to talk about this leak because it is absolutely impacting the market. You can see Zidane's card price had a huge drop yesterday. He's now rebounded back up since the SBC didn't drop yesterday. He went from 1.7 all the way to the low 1.4s and is now back up 1.59, 1.5 highs um, on the PlayStation and Xbox market. His other versions as well. This card was like 2.3. He's down at 2.1. The Prime Zidane is down actually he's down a lot he was 3.1 3.2 2.7 2.9 now, but this Zidane was at 1.05, so he is back up in price as well. So all of the Zidans got panic sold. Even like 
Benzema's winter wild cards item is down a lot in price because of the leak of that Zidane coming out. You can see he was 186. He went all the way down to 1.7 lows, and he's really not rebounded back up that much. So watch out for that Zidane. That's coming if you want to save your fodder for it, or, you know, it's going to be probably out and released for a long time too. One thing we saw from the Gerard SBC yesterday is this SBC is out for 89 days. That's like, like into March, honestly, right? And that's kind of also the time where we usually see prime icon moments. Now, I don't believe that we're getting prime icon moments this year, but I think they released Gerard for so long because he's a prime icon. That's the best version um, of the icons that'll be dropped in this game. Hopefully Zidane is going to be out for that long of a time as well. It should be very craftable during team of the year, which will be very, very nice for those of us that'll be opening a lot of packs, whether it's saved packs or upgrades during team of the year. That'll be a card that a lot of people will want to craft with the extra fodder cards that they get. Now, speaking of extra fodder cards, yesterday was a big day for packs in the store. Now that tab is gone for me, like the World Cup tab, which some people are like, hey, the menus feel a lot better since that World Cup tab in the bottom right is gone. But all those packs got paid out yesterday. And this Steven Gerrard SBC that we had was one of the most popular SBCs, I believe, that people were going out and doing. Of course, the other icons like Maldini and Jarzinho, who I finished off yesterday, were very popular as well. But if you take a look at the market, you can tell that people were going and doing higher rated squads after they got fodder. Now, the, the highest rated squad inside of the Jared SBC is only 87, but for guys like Jorginho, uh, you know, people were going out and buying the higher rated fodder. And same thing with uh, Maldini, only an 87 rated squad, but take a look at where the fodder market is rising. On the low tier, it's really not moving that much. And the Jared SBC actually is to blame for that. But look at 89s, 34, 35,000 coins for 89 rated cards. 88s went up a little bit. 89s and 91s, though, went up like crazy. I know Benzema's out of packs, but he's gone from, what is it, 50, he was like 59K yesterday, right? Around 60, and an absolute explosion right after the 6 p.m. content. These guys have just gone up and up. Benzema, 66K. De Bruyne, 64, 65,000 coins as well. Neuer, as a card that is currently in packs, of course, went from 48K, 47K at content. Boom, spiking right back up. You can tell, and we were talking about this all week, if you held these cards that you bought earlier on the weekend, GG's, because they just kept rising all week as they were not getting packed as much, but people were going out and doing those SBCs. Now, a very interesting thing on the lower tier. Look at the 84s. They are now low at 3,000 coins a piece. Look at what happened with these guys yesterday. They had a spike, of course, right at the content drop time because every single day that 84 plus times five is refreshing. So 84s every single day are their most expensive, basically 30 minutes to an hour after content because everybody goes and does that SBC, but they're down. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys the index 84 at the moment. It just shows the crazy drop off on 84s yesterday. And you're like, Nate, where is this supply coming from? Yesterday we had the Pele SBC with an untradeable 50K pack. We didn't have lightning rounds. We didn't have any tradable rewards given out. Where's this supply coming from? It's the Icon SBCs because the Icon SBCs give out tradable packs. The Gerard SBC, even these, the gold packs from these, right? These are like kind of juiced. Even though the two rare gold players packs, they're tradable. You get all these tradable packs from inside of the Gerard SBC, inside of the Jarzinho SBC and Maldini. These are the SBCs that people are doing right now on this game and crafting with all the fodder that they got yesterday. Even some of the other Winter Wild Cards player SBCs, like the, the ones that have multiple squads, like Payet, uh, Belagarde, uh, DePaul has two squads, right? Ozil, Cruz has four squads. You know, those squads are also giving you packs back in return for completing them. That's why that low tier fodder is going down as much as it is. And it's just crazy to see how that impact on the market was just because of people going and doing SBCs with fodder that they already had. Now there's certainly still demand for 84s. And if you have some of them, what I would tell you to do is sell them today around the content drop. Of course, there is gonna be some supply with marquee matchups and that's gonna supply the rest of the fodder market a little bit more than normal because it's just going to be a lot of packs open, right? Not just from people doing SBCs, but from those cheap SBCs, right? Could 84s rise up today after rewards? Absolutely, they could. These cards could rise some today. Um, of course, rewards are going to bring a little bit of tradable supply. And of course, that hour after content, when most people are going out and doing that 84 plus times five once again, that's when I would look to sell those cards. Because again, today is going to be another day where people are crafting, doing upgrade packs, getting rewards, going out and doing those other SBCs. And I think today might 
might be a decent day to sell some of those 84s specifically and maybe some of your lower tier fodder as well of course before we go into tomorrow with lightning rounds uh, i think a lot of people are actually starting to save up packs whether it's for team of the year i mean i know some people are saving for that but if the centurions promo start to look starts to look good some people might even save some of their packs from rewards or stuff like that that they can claim and attain in the next couple of days from doing the icon of species and stuff they might, might start staving those up for the Centurions promo. So I think I would sell that low tier fodder in a bit of a spike today. For the rest of the fodder market, it's probably going to stay the same or maybe just drop a little bit. I'd say same thing for these 91s. I would want to take the cash pretty soon. They're up so much and it's absolutely incredible. I'm telling you guys, the best fodder to trade with, in my opinion, are 84s, 85s, and 86s sometimes, but most consistently, it's these 90s to 91s. Actually, I'll go 89s, 90s, and 91s. They're more expensive, um, but they're also, anytime there's any SBC over 87 rated, these guys just move. It's kind of crazy how these guys move. But even if not, the SBCs are not like 89 or 90 rated squads, they just go up a lot. So these cards are up big. I would look to sell those, especially De Bruyne and Lewandowski and Benzema that are kind of come back into packs. Uh, While well, Benzema's coming back into packs, his gold card is. I would look to take the cash on some of those today. Maybe one last final slight rise. Uh, before we hit marquee matchups and with people getting their rewards and going and doing SBCs. Now, speaking of supply today, let's let's turn the page and talk about the impacts meta winter wild cards and about these card prices because some of them, you know, they've been pretty stagnant throughout the week, right? Let's be honest. Team one started to rise up in packs a lot as they were leaving their time in packs. These cards have been pretty consistent and only a couple of them have really moved up that much, right? Adama Treire was like 160K to start the weekend. He is actually up now, 180K. Jesus, Kimmich, Varane, you know, Robertson, they've had a couple fluctuations here and there, but they're about the same. Honestly, I think they're going to probably just drop a little bit today. It really depends on those leaks and how people are super duper hyped for the foot centurions promo um but i i would hold off if you really want to buy one of these cards for your team i think i would hold off until tomorrow and friday see what the centurions is looking like see what the leaks look like and what the hype is around this promo and then if you want to buy one of these for your team with all the demand that's going to be hitting on this game this weekend, I would want to buy those cards most likely tomorrow and Friday once we kind of get an idea of what this promo is going to be like. Now, a couple of quick things. So a couple of these price ranges have been updated on these cards that were at their minimum, and Brahim Diaz was one of them. He has been 26K all week long, but yesterday he got a price range update, and he went from 26K all the way down to 18 and 19K. I think this card is a fantastic club stock. AC Milan links are so important this year in FIBA. There's a lot of great AC Milan cards, even if you think about like gold tail hernandez the gold or player of the month or the other lower tier inform versions of like rafael leal a lot of great links to mori as well um so i would try to stock one of those brahim ds in the club this verts card actually got a price range minimum update as well he was at 26k which was his minimum on the weekend uh he's back up a little bit now but now his low price can go below 26 below 26k of course and uh, i think there was a card from team one as well verde right and verde is even out of packs so to see this card go down is very interesting he was at 21,000 coins with his 99 passing stat uh, he went down to 15, had uh, all the way back up to 17. I think if you see this guy at like 16, 17K again, it's probably a decent shout because I don't think that's too undervalued for him or I think that's around kind of where he should be. But he's out of packs as well. That's something to keep an eye on with a couple of those cards that got minimum price range updates. Now, that also happened for some icons and that was my biggest move on the market yesterday. I actually went out, uh, Kaka, um, who are the other ones? Kaka and Essien. And Yashin were some icons that got price range updates that very much needed them yesterday. And these guys are now on the market. He was extinct at 650. Yashin was extinct at 650. He is now on the market. He's, he's had a really, really nice rise. He's up at like almost 900,000 coins right now at the moment. I bought three Kakas yesterday in the low 700s. He is beginning to rise as people realize, oh my goodness, this guy is back on the market. He's back. Uh, he's available. He's here. We can try him out. And I mean, this Kaka, that's the reason why I bought this card is he is the most valuable Kaka out of all the ones in the game. His stats are still undervalued for the player that he was. Most people agree with that. But this one has 90 pace and he's finally on the market. So I picked up a couple of those and I hope that that continues to rise. Uh, but those are kind of the big price range updates with those cards on the market. They had a lot of fluctuations and a lot of movements, but there's still some cards that are that are extinct, like Prime Mateus. 
is extinct. Prime Torres is extinct. And I believe Kentanon. And I don't know if I'm forgetting any of the other ones. I kind of honestly just looked past these cards and forgot uh, that they weren't even on the market for a couple of them. But like these guys are still extinct. So it's weird how EA updated some price ranges yesterday, but then they didn't update others. So a bit confusing with that sort of stuff uh, with those. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about too is just the rest of the meta market today. If you're looking to make some coins, since there is gameplay demand, this is something that we did yesterday. This is the specific card that we traded with yesterday when we were live on stream. We, sh we saw that uh, Cordoba was down, right? And there was a little bit of periods of panic yesterday. You can see Cordoba was 3.30 on, um, on Wednesday early morning hours. He went all the way down to 310. He was actually snipeable at like 305. I got one at 308 and boom, he goes right back to 330 where he is now. That's the sort of stuff you want to look for today. Out of packs, promo cards that are popular, that are rare, that people want to use, that are meta, that could potentially drop a little bit today into the content time that you could buy at a low price. Like right now, here I am on another YouTube video at night saying that Millie Tao looks low. Like Millie Tao, I mean, this guy goes between 730 and 780 all the time. And I mean, that's not a huge profit margin there, but a really rare card with fluctuations like this. He's not actually 730. Like if I saw this at like 710 or 720 on an undercut, that's the sort of thing I'd be looking for. Watch out for those flips today because I think there'll be potential. Since there is a lot of people that are going out and playing the game at the moment, I think there's a lot of potential for those quick flips with people going and buying teams four foot champs to get in to the weekend league this weekend. So there should be great opportunities to trade on the market today. Now, there is one last thing I want to talk about, and that is the team of the week cards. Of course, yesterday we had team of the week 10 that was dropped and team of the week prices on the market, by the way, I've got a quick shout for you guys on this. They are dropping like crazy team of the week cards yesterday. All of these guys, even like the really, really cheap ones, the 79, the 80 rated guys, they were like 25,000 coins because of that 84 times five SBC refreshing once again. Now with supply continually dropping in, like we talked about from people doing those icon SBCs and today with rewards, keep an eye on this team of the week because I think there might be an investment potential for a quick flip today with informs being low around rewards and then rising into the content drop as people invest and then spiking after the content drop because people need informs to go and do SBCs um, today. So watch out for informs. I would look at the 86s, the 83 to 86 rated cards that are in this team. Like these guys are, you know, 13,000 coins for some of these 83 rated cards. Like Aaron Moy is 13, 14K. I mean, as you can see, these guys were selling at the high to mid 20K range earlier in the day. And that's not just because they were fresh and brand new to the market. That is because literally all of these cards were selling at like 25,000 coins yesterday uh, because there's that team of the week inform requirement that is out there. So that's one thing I would watch with informs today, potential moneymaker opportunity for those, but I would do just a quick flip only try to get them out very soon. The other part is EA has refreshed what they're doing with team of the week upgrades. And we have to give EA some more props for this. It's, I feel like EA has been honestly killing it in the past couple of weeks with this stuff. Of course, there's still problems in the game, but like this stuff they've been doing content wise is fantastic. So with team of the week coming back, the inform progression path has been refreshed with larger upgrade sizes across the various overall ranges. And as you can see, a lot of these guys got pretty big boosts. I mean, Douglas Louise up to an 87 rated card. Griezmann is the one that I'm very most interested in, right? The pink haired dynamic Griezmann is pretty crazy by itself, right? But usually 85 rated informs go to 80 six rated right well instead he went to an 87 the only caveat is they said various overall ranges right so like i don't think if erling holland or maybe it, it might depend on the rating but like i can't expect now for erling holland to get an inform and for his next inform to be 91 i still feel like it'll be 90 because ea for some of these top tier cards won't want to increase the power curve too much but we're just going to have to see as they release more team of the weeks how that is going to look like. They also said there's going to be two featured team of the weeks per week, which will get even higher and additional upgrades. So like Taremi was this one this week from an 81 to an 87. That's a massive upgrade, right? So he goes from 81 to 84, 84 to 86, and then 86 to 87. So a triple upgrade for I don't him. want to spend too much time talking about team of the week, but I feel like it is worth mentioning because EA are doing some nice changes to this. And of course, these cards are packable from our red weekend league rewards player picks this 
weekend. So there's a lot going on in this game. There's a lot more. It's probably going to happen today. Watch out for the leaks. Watch out for the news. And hopefully it's a pretty good day to make coins on this game and on this market. And of course, best of luck if you're opening packs, if you're saving packs for tomorrow for Centurions. It's going to be a fun couple days in this game. Also, best of luck qualifying for weekly. I know a lot of you guys are going out and going for that. Also, with the World Cups or the Wild Card Swaps grind, we're nearing the end. Best of luck with all of your endeavors in that mode. But that's going to be the video for me today. If you guys did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you had any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.